Hey you guys, welcome to my FPS benchmark of GTA 5. Uh, we're running on the GTX 1650 with the Ryzen 5 2600. Uh, the last GTA 5 benchmark I did was on the RX 580 with the same CPU. Um, I believe we were at, I mean, we were at 1440p. Um, I think it was full screen. I mean, it must, it was some kind of full screen. At the moment, I'm running on windowed borderless. For some reason, it didn't default to this. So I'm hoping there's no issues with that. I had to turn the VSync off. For some reason, changing the card from RX 580 to the GTX 1650. Just like the physical swapping it over when it comes back to Windows. Uh, for this game, it seemed to have reset a lot of things. Like, it wanted them to default to 18, 800 by 600, which is uh, not preferred. Um, yeah, so I'll try and get over here so I can scroll down a bit. Video memory, yeah. So the RX 580 benchmark I did was on normal settings. Um, again, not sure why it defaulted to normal. Um, it's an 8 gig card, so you think... Uh, would have been higher so I think after this benchmark I will do one on normal just for kind of probably for my own interest to see how it performs so I guess we're trying to beat around like 70 to 90 FPS I think maybe average 80 FPS um, and I'm not sure if it's going to give us much details about the benchmark test we'll find out and the last one it didn't it just kicked me straight back to story mode this time I'm starting it without story mode just straight from the menu so we're gonna have a bit of a low time but and hopefully that doesn't make the actual benchmark at least at the start run jumpy we'll find out now uh, this stuff is off I think it's for like more super high graphics um, yeah so let's get it started Okay, so we are loaded and we are in. I believe the RX 580 was, uh, I mean, 70 to 90. I think it may have been hitting 90 there. So already we're seeing a big drop, but obviously it looks a lot better. Still a very pretty game, this. Game I should play a bit more. Multiplayer is super fun. So much just uh, silly random. Oh, okay. So we've got some proper rain effects here. We didn't have that on normal settings. The shadows are better. Not that I'm a big fan of shadows, but RTX shadows are pretty. Shadows are really starting to increase atmosphere in games a lot, I think. Something that's getting underappreciated. Well more appreciated now but certainly like just seeing what RTX I feel like RTX is underrated especially like when you combine it with a good viewing monitor that really aids shadows and uh, accentuates the blacks like it balances all the colors and like black blacks are black and that matters with shadows and that can create atmosphere that it's likely very few people even experience it's yeah it's really underrated underappreciated and just not explored uh, graphic side of games nowadays especially like if you go to most people um, explore these games on an Xbox or on console and fuck man the graphics there are just so limited and and once upon a time it was just a kind of an experience in a game the graphics whereas now it's I mean it was experience and immersion but like nowadays like high end PC graphical improvements really whoa look at that fucking wheel we're gonna I'm not too sure what that's about are we? Oh, okay. We're up to 70%. Uh, I mean, 71 degrees in the GPU. So that's a market increase from Minecraft. The the, um, the benchmark I did just before this. Yeah, coincidentally. Yeah, we're, we seem to be averaging like 50 to 60. 55 maybe. The uh, 
GPU is getting 50% more workout than the CPU. Let's see what this explosion does. Eh, not much. <laughs> and then we'll find out what happens with the quitting. So yeah, that um, quit the video and I mean we quit the game which uh, in shadow play because I haven't got uh, desktop capture on it cancels the it, it, it ends the video early uh, but we'll just let it load and see if we get any results which I'm interested in apologize for my benchmarking noobiness in this one nope. I wonder why they don't they do like a pretty comprehensive set of benchmarks I wonder if it exports it to a file or something. Anyway, hope that helps for anyone who's interested in this particular CPU GPU combination. If you have any feedback about, you know, does FPS markedly increase on full screen 1440p? Please let me know. Keen to test that. I'm probably probably testing myself anyway here. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.